Juneteenth is now a federal holiday, recognizing the day June 19th, 1865, when slaves in Texas finally learned about the Emancipation Proclamation. KCY News reporter Erin Fay spoke with some organizers of a local Juneteenth celebration. She joins us live in San Luis Obispo. Good morning, Erin. Good morning, Janelle. That's right. I'm here at the venue Liquid Gravity, which is co-hosting and co-sponsoring the Juneteenth event hosted by the NAACP of San Luis Obispo County. This is a, a vision that uh, my husband and I had um, some time ago to bring Juneteenth to San Luis Obispo you know, County. Cheryl Vines and her husband, Reverend Stephen Vines, are the co-founders of the NAACP chapter here in San Luis Obispo County. And they are organizing an in-person film screening and a panel to celebrate Juneteenth this year. You know, usually dress up, you know, because it was a time, you know, that you could dress up and uh, come together and really uh, enjoy and celebrate being free. This is the fourth time the chapter is hosting Juneteenth. The panel on Saturday aims to further the conversation about slavery and oppression throughout history and now. It's how slavery affected us um, through the high blood pressure, you know, through the Middle Passage, being on a, a ship packed in like sardines. The NAACP partnered with the Slow County Department of Behavioral Health as well as health activists to speak about generational trauma, social inequality, and to celebrate past and present resilience and joy. Even in the horrors of slavery, we found ways to survive and also ways to seek freedom and independence. And on Friday, there will also be music and spoken word from local artists. We want people to you know, be aware of, you know, our history and, and where it came from. They are taking reservations, but walk-ins are still allowed. Live in San Luis Obispo, Erin Fay, KSBY News. Thank you, Erin.